Hello and welcome to section 1.5, Solving Inequalities. Today we are going to be solving inequalities and then we're going to graph their solution set, but we're going to graph it on a number line like so. So for number 1, 4y is greater than 16. Well, to start off with, this would be an inequality. This greater than sign, that makes it an inequality. But the nice thing about these guys is that we can solve them exactly like we would an equation. How would we solve this as equation? Well, we would divide, we would divide both sides by 4 to get y by itself. And so now we have y, but now instead of an equal sign, it is a greater than sign. And then 16 divided by 4 is 4. So this would be our solution to the inequality, but now we just have to go ahead and graph it. So with 4, we can go to our number line. We put an open circle around 4 because it's a greater than, or it would be an open circle with a less than sign too. And now we want to shade all the numbers greater than y, or y is greater than 4, so we want all the numbers greater than 4, so I'm going to shade to my right because that's where all my numbers greater than 4 are. So let's take a peek at number 2. x minus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Well, how do we solve for x if this was an equation? I want to get x by itself, so I would add 3 to both sides, do the opposite of what's done to 3, bring down my x, bring down my inequality, greater than or equal to, and it's negative 1. So now I go on my number line, instead of an open circle, it is a closed circle because it's an equal to sign because of that bar right there. And now x is greater than or equal to negative 1, so since it's greater than, I'm going to shade to the right again. And I like to fill in my arrows just so you guys know that it keeps going on and on and on and on forever. All right, number three here. Let's try this guy. Now, 8x plus 5 is less than or equal to 7x minus 3. Well, I want to get my x's and y's, or just my x's rather, x's all by themselves. So the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract this 8x, so I have the same x, I, so I don't have more x's floating around. So I subtract the 8x to the other side. Bring down everything else that I didn't touch, keeping the sign the same way. Now, how do I get this 3 away from the x? I have to add it over, so I add it back over. And so now I'm left with negative x and less than 8. Now, we're not quite done here because how is this negative attached to the x? It is attached through multiplication, so I have to divide by a negative 1. Now, for the tricky part, when you have a negative and you divide by a negative, you have to flip that inequality. So now, we have to flip the inequality, flipping the inequality, and then our number turns into negative 8. So now, negative 8 is greater than x. Again, when we divide or multiply by a negative, guys, when we divide or multiply by a negative, we flip the inequality, and then we change the opposite sign over here. Now let's go ahead and graph this. Now, you guys would have to draw your number line because you're not as lucky as I am. I have a number line already in there, so you have to draw your number line. How do I expect you to draw your number line? Well, I expect negative 8 to go in the middle, and then anything to the right that is greater than negative 8, such as negative 6, and then anything to the left that is less than negative 8, such as negative 10. This could be negative 100. This could be 0. It does not matter. Your numbers are up to you. But back at graphing, here it is a greater than sign or equal to well since it's equal to we fill in the circle now it says negative 8 is greater than or equal to x so we want all things less than negative 8 because negative 8 is the greatest it can be another way to look at this another way to look at that guy right there since our variable is on the right side, we cannot follow the arrow. Since the variable is not on the right side, we cannot follow the arrow. If the variable is on the left side, then we could follow the arrow, which you'll see here in number 4. So let's solve number 4. How do we get that negative 4 away from the t? We have to divide by negative 4. And so now t is something of 
negative 7, what do we have to do with the inequality? Remember, when we divide or multiply by a negative, we have to flip the inequality. So it's greater than or equal to, t is greater than or equal to negative 7. So how do we go about graphing this? Put negative 7 right in the middle, then I'm going to put 0 on the right of it because 0 is greater than negative 7. Then I put, let's go with negative 10 on the left. It is a close circle because of that bar, so a circle and fill it in. Since the variable is on the left, I can follow the arrow, so I'm going to shade to the right and draw my arrow. Again, look at the variable is on the left, I can follow the arrow, so I follow the arrow. Here the variable is on the right, I cannot follow the arrow, so I have to shade opposite of it. Here we go, number five, a couple trickier ones. Now, here we have negative 4c is less than 5c plus 58 over 6. Well, again, if this was an equal sign, what would you want to do here? I'm going to put that 4c over 1. Does that give us any ideas? Yes, we can cross multiply if you want to. So I'm going to take this 6, this 6 times a 4, negative 4c to get negative 24c, keeping the inequality, which is a less than sign, and then uh, now I'm multiplying that 1 times here or just keeping it the same, so 5c plus 58. Now we'll treat it just like an equal sign. Subtract the 5c to get the 5c's on the same side, and so now we're left with negative 29c is less than 58. What do you have to do with this attached to c? You have to divide by what? You have to divide by negative 29, so divide by negative 29, and so C, flip the sign because we divided by a negative, flip the sign because we divided by a negative, C now is greater than negative 2, again how do you graph this, negative 2 in the middle, something that is bigger on the right, something that is smaller on the left, it is a open circle thanks to our greater than sign, and we can follow the arrow because our variable is on the left. Now number 6, the very first thing we do again, is put it over 1. Now, again, we can cross multiply that. Negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. Y. Now, we have to be careful because we multiplied by a negative 4. We multiplied across, right? So what do we have to do with the sign? Yes, you guessed it. We have to flip the sign, and then we multiply that by 1, and so it's negative 5Y plus 9. We keep going. Put your y's together. So I'm going to add 5y here. I'm going to add 5y there to get a negative 27y is less than or equal to 9. Now I added a positive 5 so I'm not flipping it. I didn't multiply or divide by a negative so that's why it stays the same. Now how do I get rid of this negative 27? I divide by negative 27. So I'm dividing both sides by negative 27. So now what do I do with my sign? Again, it flips because I divided by a negative. And so now I get y is greater than or equal to negative one-third. And so now, again, I didn't leave much room on the bottom, so I'm going to move my numbers to the top. So negative one-third goes in the middle. We have 0 on the right because it's greater. I'm going to put negative 1 on the left because it's less than. We have a closed circle thanks to the underline and the variable is on the left so I can shade following the arrow. Let's try one more here with number 7. Now it looks a little tricky at first but treat it the same as we would a equal sign. What would you do if that was an equal sign? Well parentheses to me mean distribute so I'm going to distribute that first to get 24v minus 18. Now I'm going to go across the inequality and I'm going to go over here and take 2 times there and 2 times there to get 20v plus 6. Bring down my inequality. Keep going with this. Now knowing that I like v's or variables on the left side, I'm going to take this 20v and move it to the left side just to keep everything nice. So I'm going to subtract the 20v over to the other side. So now it's 4v minus 18 is less than 6. Add the 18 over to the other side. And so you get 4v is less than 24. Divide by 4, divide by 
4. So now B is less than 6. All right, so again, we just distributed it. And then once you distribute it, solve like an uh, equation. And then we get V is less than 6. And then just so we remember, remember here, greater than or less than sign, it is just a circle. Uh, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, if you see this bar underneath, it is a filled in circle. Also, if the variable is on the left of the inequality, you can shade following the arrow. And that does it for section 1.5, solving inequalities. Good day.